I know every motherfucker ain't going to do what I'm going to do. This is how you level up. I know there's a whole bunch of people with that right there. That fires me up. That brings joy to my life right there. Because I know there's so many people that have the ability and just refuse to get off that couch. Refuse to study a few more hours. Refuse to go deeper, to go further. And that's where I gain the advantage. It's so easy to be great nowadays, my friend, and most people are weak. Most people don't want to go to that extra mile. Most people don't want to find that extra because it sucks. It's miserable. It's lonely. Now I can thrive in this. That's the only place to be. There's never been more opportunity than there is right now. If you're a fucking savage and you get out there and you grind hard and you want it bad enough, you can run all these guys over. Yeah. I was never the strongest guy. I'm not the fastest guy. I'm not the smartest guy. But I will work and I will work hard. It just yes, right now with no one looking, man. If no one was looking, I had a chance to sneak in some extra work to do a little bit more while no one's looking. They'll think I'm, I'm better than I am. So I recommend you do that right now. No one's looking. You're home alone. Do more. Do I like the long hours? No. Do I like having to watch a game at three o'clock in the morning? No. But I have to be prepared because I'm addicted to the result. If today you never say good enough, tomorrow you'll always have enough. Championships aren't won in the theater of the arena. They're won in the thousands of hours in the training room, the labs, and the 5 a.m. runs, and the training when everyone else is sleeping. That's when it's won. The Harvard champion is a light switch that's always on. It doesn't go on and off when someone's watching. It's constant. Champions aren't found on the podium with their hand up. No. Champions are found in the lab studies. The thousands of hours of hard work when no one's watching. That's what makes the will unstoppable. When you're in here and no one else is, and you're pushing yourself harder than anybody with no one around, it's how you look at something. If your name's attached to it, and you do it right, the best of your ability every single time, if you're dusting your countertops, do you dust around the picture frame? Well, you pick the f*** up and dust the entire thing. Do the job right or don't do it at all. That's the same person who has his hand raised on the podium one day. Execute, execute, execute. And that's what people don't do. They don't execute. Making a freaking plan is the easy part. And you have to understand, if you don't execute on the plan, if you don't get up in the morning when you're feeling tired, scared, if you don't execute, you're not just cheating yourself. You're cheating your family. You're cheating your employees. You're cheating your team. Whatever you're a part of, it's bigger than you, man. Nobody wants to do it. That's the thing. When you look at someone and you say that man or that woman has something that I don't have, nobody woke up with that shit. They got it from showing up every day and execute. And especially when they don't feel like it. You think that this just happens. You think I'm going to show up. I'm going to put in my time and then I'm going to be rich. And that ain't what happens. Everyone's always looking for other people to do stuff for them. Stop looking for fucking help from everybody else. It starts and ends with you. You got to do more. You've got to become valuable. You've got to understand that what you get paid to do is the minimum. And everything on top of that is your investment in your future. So if you're going to stand out, don't do the same thing that everybody else is doing. Separate yourself. You plan against other teams and you're doing exactly what they're doing. Separate yourself. Stop doing what they're doing. If you stop doing what they're doing, you're going to be a champion. Stop following. No more following. No more doing what everybody else is doing. Set the dog on standards. It's time for y'all to set the standard. If you decide that my life deserves my developing this what I do well and becoming the best at it and mastering myself and seeing what I have within me, I grant you that your gifts will take you places that will literally amaze you. All of us need some area of our lives where we can have a feeling of competence. That people know when they think about this area, that's something you do. That you eat and sleep that. And that you do that. You do that. People know it. If you begin to work to develop your gifts. You'll develop a strong sense of happiness. You'll get a larger vision of yourself. The harder you work, the harder it is to surrender. You know what you got to do to get to paradise? You got to fight like fucking hell to get to paradise. The ones that can fight, the ones that come back, those are the ones that succeed. Those are the icons of the world. There's many legends out there. There's very few icons. Do I want to be here right now? No, I don't want to be here right now. I much rather be home watching the game. But later down the road, I don't want to always be just watching the f***ing game.
one day I want to play the fucking game. So by being here now ensures that I'm not going to be a spectator for the rest of my life. That's why I love the fucking game and blog this. It is the process of the grind that shapes you and forms you. It's not the game. And that's why most of y'all get beat in the game or make mistakes in the game because you think grinding is what happens when the sun comes out. You think grinding is what happens when the lights come on. You think grinding is what happens when people get in the stage. That's not grind. The real grind is in the dark when nobody sees you, when nobody knows what you're doing. When you studying without coach, when you putting in those extra reps, when you watching those videos and you getting inspired, when you change your music, it's the process that makes you sweet. You want to reach greatness? You want to make every single one of your dreams a reality? You want to live like a winner? Well, you got to be willing to grind every fucking day. You got to be willing to put in more energy and more effort than you ever have. That's going to take you reaching the level of what you would normally call your limit and going past it. Because every limit you have is one that you set yourself in your own mind. You've accepted it as your standard at one point or another. So now is the time to decide that you are going to go higher. You are going to work harder. You are going to go further. You are going to raise your game. When you start forcing yourself to go hard, getting up earlier, going to bed later, not letting yourself off the hook when it's the weekend, when everyone else is having a good time, people are going to think you're crazy. They're going to make fun of you. They're going to call you a psycho. They're going to talk shit about you and spread rumors about you and try to tear you down. So what do you do about those people? It's simple. You don't fight back. You don't waste your energy defending yourself. You don't have to say a single word. All you do is grind in silence and let your success make the noise. Your execution, your actions, your completed tasks will speak for themselves. They will be the things that talk the loudest about who and what you are. And when you do this, you become a champion. Champions are built from execution. They aren't made sitting around gossiping about other people's lives and the whatever the hell they're doing. No, they're made by getting shit done. So you don't waste time worrying about what everyone else is doing or what anyone else thinks of you. You just do whatever the fuck it takes to get whatever the hell you want. It's easy to beat most people and get ahead. Why? Because the world's lazy. That's where you gain the advantage. Everyone will talk about it, they'll post about it, they'll make plans about it, but nobody wants to roll up their sleeves and just go get it. I accepted a long time ago, I wasn't the smartest, the best looking, the fast enough, with the best background, the most connections. I didn't have any of those things. What I could control was my work ethic. I think for the most part, gifted people struggle in life because things come easy to them. I like that things haven't come easy for me in my life. And maybe you like that about you too. Maybe you've looked at yourself all your life and thought, man, I don't have that natural beauty or that natural talent or intellect or humor. I don't have any of those things. But what I got is I will outwork you. When you get to winning, for me, it's come down to maxing out. And what maxing out means is you do one more at least than you think you're capable of. So when you're done, whatever you're doing, whether it's at the gym or phone calls or meetings or in sports, one more shot, one more throw, one more swing of the golf club or the baseball bat, the separator is for the winners. They do one more. And I'm the kind of guy that I know when you do 45 minutes on the treadmill and I do 46, I deserve to be fitter. I know that when I'm lifting weights and I watch you do five sets of 10 and every single time I do one more. When it's supposed to be an eight hour work day, I work nine. Whatever it is, I always do one more. And what that does is it makes me eventually think I'm doing things other people aren't willing to do. So I should get things other people aren't going to get. That's the separator. If you're someone who's always doing things other people aren't willing to do, you always max out. You always go to the next level. You convince yourself you deserve to win. You can take low self-esteem, low identity, low confidence, and change it over time by building this habitual addiction to doing one more, this obsession of one more. When you start acting in your best interest and going above and beyond everyone else, you're going to lose some friends. Not everybody is going to approve of you. There's some people that won't like you. Who do you think you are? You think you're better than all of us. You're arrogant. What do you think you can do? You're selfish. When you hang around average people, 
All you're going to hear is average thoughts and opinions. They don't speak a winner's language. All they're going to tell you is what they think is possible based on their own limitations they've set in their mind. Don't let that sh affect you and your mindset. That's their limits, not yours. It has nothing to do with you. You can do whatever you believe you can do. The only person's permission you need to get it done is your own. You know what crazy means? Crazy means that you have the ability to see things that other people can't. That's what crazy means. And if you're not fucking crazy, you're never going to succeed at anything in life. Everybody has got to be a little bit off. Anybody that's done something great, they don't think like anybody else. They can't. And the people that tell you, you can't do it, you know what your response to them is? Watch me. Watch me. Michael Jordan said in one of his interviews, when they said, you're unbelievable, you're the greatest basketball player of all times. Tell me about that. And he says, well, you just mentioned the successes. But he says, for me to become the greatest basketball player, I missed 9,000 shots when I was playing basketball at the NBA games. Does it make him a failure? No. We all fail. It's okay. What is not okay is that when you fail, you stay down. Whoever stays down is a loser. And winners will fail and get up, fail and get up, fail and get up. You always get up. That is a winner. I can accept failure. Everyone fails at some point. I cannot accept not trying. It is your losses that will humble you. It is your losses that will give you a drive. It is your losses that will allow you not to make the same mistake over and over again. You are not your past. You can't be mad when somebody's pursuing the crisis that you're running from. You ain't mad about that, but you mad about the reward because you knew it should have been yours. That was your reward for because you was afraid to do the work because you were afraid of the crisis. Now somebody else got your reward. Stop running from it and run to it. Stop telling me what you're going through. The greats, they get to it, they go through it. And the harder it is, the better. If you lose your job, if you go through a divorce, if you're coming back from addiction, if you're coming back from failure after failure after failure and disappointment after disappointment after disappointment, you must know within yourself there must be a deep inner knowing of your true identity. You've got to know you are a winner. You were born to win. It is your right to win. It is your right to have your dream. You don't get these ideas unless you also have the capacity to make it happen. Give yourself a fighting chance. Whatever you go after, whatever you said, this is your stuff. Pursue it passionately. Let there be a deep hunger in you that you won't be denied. And that when things happen, that they won't immobilize you. They won't deplete your energy. Something as powerful as you cannot be contained and stop. Temporarily delayed, yes, but stop, no. You got to learn how to take your pain and let your pain push you to greatness. You got to learn how not to give up or how not to give in. And you got to understand that greatness is within you and you got to pull it out. You got to climb every mountain. You got to pick up all the way. You got to cry if you got to, but whatever you do, you cannot give up. You cannot give in. And if you give up and give in, you will never experience greatness. So keep going. Nobody ever said it would be easy. But I know greatness is within you and you got what it takes. So get up and let's make it happen. When you have those feelings, it's even more important to step up and get some. If you got something to do, don't put it off till tomorrow. Don't do that. Don't voluntarily do anything tomorrow that you should be getting done today. Get it done today. Don't wait. Attack it, destroy it, and move on. Stop waiting for something to move you and move yourself. You're your biggest problem. Everything is external that moves you. Now I want you to start moving yourself internally. I want you to be able to push your buttons and not let anything else push your buttons. You got to move you. Every single day, if you get to a point in your day and you dial it out, if you get to a point in your day and you exhaust it, you get to a point in your day and you're not feeling it, you can stop right there and change the mood. Somebody control your mood. You control your mood. You control your feelings. I don't care how small it is. 
I don't care how minuscule the movement is, but make movement. Move forward and do that every single day, no matter what, including today. You aren't getting any closer to your five-year plan or your three-year plan or your seven-year plan or any plan that you've got unless you get up and start getting after it. Today, I woke up one day and stopped making excuses. I woke up one day and stopped playing the blame game. I woke up one day and looked at the man in the mirror and was like, yo, bro, what are you doing? Wake up. It's showtime. Let's go. Get up. Go to class. Get up. Do your homework. Work on your gift. It was given to you, but you got to hone it. And the reason why some of you are not where you're supposed to be, you've given yourself an option. You've given yourself an out. You've given yourself an excuse. But you have what it takes to do it. And the problem with some of you in this room, you don't have no drive. You ain't got nothing pushing you. You have no reason. You better find one before you get out of here today. You will go below at the bottom, and it's time for you to get your butt from down there. It's time for you to stop being comfortable at the bottom. Get your butt up and get to where you're supposed to be. Everybody in life gets their musts. They don't get their shoulds. Most people have a list of shoulds, don't they? Don't you have a list of things you should do, you should follow through on? I I should lose some weight. I should work out more. I should get into the office earlier. People love to have their should list be met, but it's kind of like New Year's resolutions. You kind of know it's not going to happen. But when you decide something is a must for you, when you cut off any possible, you say, I'm going to find the way or I'm going to make the way. Human beings, when they resolve things, when they make a real resolution inside themselves, which is they raise the standard, they make it a must, they find a way to make things work. Because somewhere when we make this click, when we make something a must, we attach ourselves to it. It becomes part of our identity. Whatever people have their identity attached to, they live. Your physical body today is an absolute reflection of only one thing, not your goals, not your desires, but your standards. If your standard is you're an athlete, then there's a certain amount of strength, a muscle tone, and energy that's available in your body on a regular basis because that's who you are. And so you do whatever's necessary to maintain that identity. The strongest force in the human personality is this need to stay consistent with how we define ourselves. Once you lock in on that identity, your brain finds a way to keep you there. If you identify yourself in a new way and that becomes the standard of how you live, you'll find the way to make that standard real. It all comes down to the inner game, my friends. Changing your life is a change of the inner game. The outside world you can't control, but you have absolute control over this one if you learn the dynamics of what shapes you. This suffering, this sacrifice you're making is an indicator of progress. It's an indicator of obsession. It's an indication of progress towards our dreams. And dreams require sacrifices. You're not entitled to your dream. You have to fucking believe for your fucking dream. The price you will pay for not making your dream come true is far greater than the one that you will pay to make it come true. Am I satisfied? Not by a long shot. And I will not go quietly until the night. I will go kicking and screaming. Every opportunity is the last opportunity. Every opportunity, I have to reprove myself again. Because the day you become content is the day you die. Out of bed. Your only commitment is to the activity, not to the grand scheme, not to the big picture, not to the implications of what it is that you're doing. It's to do the thing. Habits are the building blocks of our lives. It's what you can do every single day that matters more than anything. Devote yourself to something bigger. Be decisive about what you're going to do. Say, I'm going to do it and that's it. And then be disciplined about getting it done every single day, whether you feel like it or not. You're going through a tough time. Maybe you are in a valley today that you've experienced the worst failure of your life and you are on the verge of giving up. Maybe you're here today and your marriage is on the rocks. Maybe you're here today and you're dealing with anxiety on a daily basis. You know what it's like to be in a lonely, dark place. You know what it's like to want to quit. You know what it's like when the pressure's overwhelming, when people expect your best, but you're at your worst. Life is hard, man. That's what it's about. If you don't work as hard as you can, if you don't sacrifice everything, if you don't get rejected and keep coming back for more, if you don't get your loyalty tested and your faith tested, you don't love that thing if you bail out. So if you fought through all that, that's love.
Even in the darkest times, even when the sun is blotted out and the world is falling apart, the darkness cannot extinguish your light, your will. No matter what is happening, no matter how hard the fight is, as long as you keep fighting, you win. Only surrender is defeat. Only quitting is the end. Listen to me, everybody. You can't give up. You can't give in. If it was easy, everybody would do it. But if life's got you down, I need you to get up and prove them wrong. I'm unstoppable. This will not get me down. You've got to make those kind of declarations to yourself. I have never met anybody who became incredibly successful in any area of their life until they have suffered and sweated and sacrificed and kept their focus and fought through tears and trials and tests. And if you have a dream and you commit to it, it will come to pass. You must have patience and engage in consistent action. We live in a world, ladies and gentlemen, where people want instant gratification. They want it right now. No, it's simple, but it's not easy. It's a system that if you work the system, it works if you work it. But make no mistake about it. It's hard. And you are the determining factor. The people that make it in this world look around for the circumstances that they want. And if they can't find them, they create them. It's you that you must take personal responsibility to make it happen. It's hard. No easy is not an option. However, ladies and gentlemen, what you will discover is it's worth it. Now, listen to me. I don't care if you're sick. I don't care what you're going through. If you're not dead, he ain't through with you yet. As long as you wake it up, you're still in the game. As long as you're alive, you can still make it happen. As long as the breath in your nostrils, boo, you're still in the game. You still can win. Now get your butt up. Here's the size of the fight in the door. All your excuses are lies. Little lies that you think makes life easier, but they don't. They're lies. They don't make life easier. It's going to tell you nice little things to try and steer you down the wrong path. Don't listen to the lies. And how do you stop the lies? You stop the lies with the truth. And the truth is, you have time. You have the skill. You have the knowledge and the support and the willpower and the discipline to get it done. Character is the ability to carry out a resolution long after the excitement of the moment has passed. Are you going to say you want to do something, do it for two weeks and then quit like you did last year, like you did the year before last? You say you want to lose weight, get in shape, get your business off the ground and then turn around and party, get lit, drink alcohol, eat like crap and continue to live below who you were created to be. No, 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 no. It is time to go from mediocre to meteoric. It is time to go from being counted out to being counted on. You want to get better? Stop looking for a shortcut and go find your alarm clock and find your discipline and find your guts and your passion and your drive and find your will. Every day is a new day, a new week, a new shot at life. An opportunity to come out of the gate like a man possessed and attack the day without mercy. Today, I'm taking scalps. I'm putting the pressure on. I am the aggressor. I am on the attack because I will not stop. Because I'm pissed off for greatness. Because if you ain't pissed off for greatness, that means you're okay with being mediocre. There ain't no man ain't okay with being just basic. The only thing that you can always, always, 100% of the time control is the amount of effort that you put into each attempt. That you can control every single time. If you wrote that this is the class that you were signing up for, then be at every single class. Make up in your mind, I will not miss one class. Every engagement I do, I don't care what event it is. When I show up, I'm bringing you the best version of Eric Thomas. No excuses. As we begin to focus on developing ourselves, as we begin to elevate ourselves and not to follow the crowd, activating the thinker in us and disciplining and putting on hold the emotional part of ourselves, it's not easy, but through practice and practice and practice, practice makes improvement. You can always better your best. You can always go beyond anything that you have ever done. And so all you're looking for are new breakthroughs through practice and practice. You'll get better and better. 
You can't be average and be a legend. You can't be good and be a legend. You can't be a good person and be a legend. You can't be great, really, and be a legend. You gotta be phenomenal. I want you to push for legend. Every single day of my life, I feel like giving a hundred and twenty. Every single day, I don't have days where I don't feel like it. Why? Because I'm counting on me. My wife's counting on me. My son's counting on me. I don't have days to waste. You gotta get up earlier. You gotta stay up later. You gotta execute and you gotta go from 70 to 120. We all have two people. We have the easy voice. Which is that voice that we all love. That's that very comfortable voice holding you saying, it's going to be okay. Doesn't care how good you are, just loves you. Just loves you no matter how messed up you are in life. So that's that one voice. This other voice that we walk very far away from is a voice saying, hey man, you ain't doing shit. You're not working your butt off hard enough. You're not trying hard enough. Turn up this voice and listen to the truth. The truth is in this other part of your brain saying, look man, you're wasting a bunch of percentage here. We have 80 more percent that we're not tapping into because in this other 80% is suffering, pain, failure, self-doubt, darkness, and then a whole bunch of light. But to get to this light, you got to go through all of this. Sh when you quit, your mind says we're done. So it doesn't expand. There's no expansion when you quit. When you say, fuck you, uh-uh, this sucks, I'm drowning, I'm miserable, I'm suffering, I'm broken, but I'm not going anywhere. What happens to your mind, it says, F he's not leaving. So we got to expand. You should can quit. You should quit can quit. Any path you take to get where you want to be, if that place is worthwhile to go, it's going to be fucking hard. So quit judging your quitting based upon how hard something is. Because every single path that you could possibly take to get somewhere where you want to be is going to be hard. Struggle, pain, misery, frustration, those are signs that you are on the right path and making progress. Nobody that is where you want to be has gotten there without these struggles, without the bleeding, without the pain, without the depression, without the misery. Nobody. And if you want to be something great, you are going to have to learn to accept the struggle as part of the recipe. Every single day, you need to look yourself in the mirror and ask yourself, what am I willing to do to get what I want? And if the answer is, whatever the f I have to, you'll get there in time. You're setting the example every single day of your life. You have to constantly owe that motherfucking machine. The machine is your mind. You got to keep challenging it every day. The price of regret is much heavier than the price of discipline. Life is one big head game. And once you learn to play the motherfucking head game, it's no longer a game anymore at all. You start living your life. If you constantly keep throwing shit against the wall, eventually something will stick. Never give in what you want. Adversity causes some cats to break and other cats to break records. It's about what you made out of, not the circumstances. Every single one of you who is struggling right now, you need to understand this. What you're going through right now is necessary because you are forging the fucking skills. You are forging the determination. You are forging the grit. You are forging the fortitude. You are forging all the fucking things that nobody else is gaining because they're sitting on their hands and you're willing to push through. This fire you're feeling, this pressure you're feeling, this frustration you're feeling, this is what is going to make you into the weapon that will build the life that you are out to build. Character is defined on the days when you don't feel like doing what you once said you would do. When the outcome changes and it's not what we want it to be and it doesn't turn out the way we want it to turn out, do we still value the thing that we once said we value? Is our character still intact? Character is not something we inherit. In the midst of opposition, in the midst of challenges, in the midst of uncertainty, we got to wake up every single day. We got to fight and we got to build it. It's about the sacrifice, the honor, the work, the commitment level. What you had to go through in order to get to this moment. Being battle tested, the injuries, the blood, the sweat, the tips. Everybody can't respond and everybody can't recover. The only thing you got as a man, your character, your integrity, and what you're saying, though. What you say, what it means to you.
I'm talking every single rep. I'm talking every opportunity. If it's any fear in your spirit right now, it ain't for you. This for warriors, man. This for soldiers, man. Everybody's got a fucking plan so they can hit your mouth. So when your plan fails, when you get knocked down the fucking canvas, when everything falls apart in your life, what the fuck are you gonna do? There's only one motherfucking option. Stay in part. We have been conditioned to tell ourselves that our hardships are the reason that we can't be what we want to be. There are two groups of people. You got a boy or girl or a man or a woman. What boys do is they point the finger at other people. That's what boys do. That's what girls do. When there's a challenge and you start pointing the finger, you'll never get to the next level. When there's conflict, I want you to look at it real plain. And I want you to say, do I throw people under the bus or do I take responsibility? But understand every time you point the finger that what you said to your dreams and goals is, I'm about to put you on hold. The minute you start pointing the finger, you lose power immediately. As soon as you start saying it's somebody else's fault, what you do is say, I'm a child and I need somebody grown to handle this. When you say he did it and she did it, you're saying, I'm 10 years old. I need mama to come in. I need daddy to come in and fix it. It's too much for me. You got to take ownership. I take full responsibility. And I'll do whatever it takes. I take ownership. I'll get up. I'll stay late. And that's why you point the finger. That's why you say he did it and she did it. Because you don't like how the pain feels. That's why you give the power away. Because it hurt too bad to say, I did it. I take ownership. It was my fault. You ain't ready for the pain. You never look at yourself in the mirror and say, you let you die. You owe yourself. I didn't get here making excuses. No, I didn't grow up on that side of the town. No, my mama don't have no network. No, I don't know a whole lot of people. No, I'm not at a country club, but I'm still going to be successful. I'm still going to get to where they are. Why? Because I owe it to myself. And can't nobody stop me but me. And you need to get rid of them excuses and you need to stop pointing fingers at people. The decisions you make right now is up to you. The only person that you can actually control, you. That's who has to take ownership. That's who has to step up, own everything, and lead. I value myself enough to give 120%. Well, don't do it. At some point, you got to be tired of not being number one. You have to be, and you got to play angry. And I play angry. It's always you versus you. You got to be the one to get up every morning, be disciplined, put in the consistent daily hard work because that gains success. No coach, no trainer, no mentor, no boss can do it. You versus you. My goals will not be defeated. My dreams will not be defeated. I will not be destroyed. I will defend what's rightfully mine. These are my dreams. This is my life. And from this day forward, I will live it. Take ownership. Take extreme ownership. Don't make excuses. Don't blame any other person or any other thing. Get control of your ego. Don't hide your delicate pride from the truth. Take ownership of everything in your world, the good and the bad. Take ownership of your mistakes. Take ownership of your shortfalls. Take ownership of your problems. And then take ownership of the solutions that will get those problems solved. Take ownership of your mission. Take ownership of your job, of your team, of your future, and take ownership of your life and lead. Lead yourself and your team and the people in your life. Lead them all to victory. No matter what happens, keep moving forward. We all go through pain. Get a reward for yours. There's some things in life you don't need no degree for. You don't need no money for. You don't need no support for. There's something in life you just going to get through when you tell yourself, I'm going to get through this. I need you to look at that sickness that's going on in your life right now. Whatever it is, I want you to say, I can beat it. I can beat it. I will beat it. I must. You think it's going to be easy? Forget about it. All right, don't even try to be successful. It's a wrap. It's not going to be easy, but I want you to feel that pain going through your body. And as pain leaves your body, guess what's going to take its place? Success. And when that thing tells you to quit, you look at it in his eye and say, I ain't going nowhere. I will break you before you break me. You will not defeat me. You will not destroy me. 
I'm unbreakable now. Life is going to see how bad you want what you say you want. Impose your will on it. Life will give in to you if it knows you're serious about whatever it is that you're trying to do. Life will give in to you. Whenever you start, you make sure you finish. If you do not kill me, you will not stop my drive. No petty adversity will not stop me. I have to complete every mission that I set out on. Your mind and attitude is all you need to be successful. That's all you need. You don't need to be born with a silver spoon in your mouth. You don't need money. You don't even need folks that like you. As long as you believe in you, you got the right mindset. You got the right attitude. We can make it happen. I don't care what's going on around you because it's not what happens around you that determines your success. It's what happens inside you. And you can't control the elements, but you can control your attitude and you can control your mindset. You get one shot. Opportunity comes once in a lifetime. You better make the kind of decisions that's going to take you to the NBA. You better make the right decisions that's going to take you to the NFL. You better make the right decisions that are going to land you the next special rapper, the next business tycoon. It's one thing to talk about your destiny. It's one thing to dream about your destiny. But it's another thing to wake up when you know you're supposed to wake up. To write when you don't feel like writing that paper. To say no to that party. Saying no to quit. What would happen if you just stopped wasting the opportunities that are in front of you? Because you're not everything you could be and you know it. And you could be way better. You could be incomparably better across multiple dimensions. Easy choices, hard life. Hard choices, easy life. What we most fear doing asking, saying, these are very often exactly what we most need to do. There's a lot of things in life that we can control, but we choose not to. Let's say tomorrow, you now set in your mind, you get up at six o'clock in the morning. That alarm clock goes off at six o'clock in the morning. Your first instinct is, whatever I said yesterday, I was comfortable. It was a nice day yesterday. I made this plan at eight o'clock at night. Now it's six o'clock in the morning, I'm tired. You hit that snooze button, You've now lost the war. Let's say you get up at 645 now because you snooze a few times. You go in the shower, now your day's all late. So now you feel a little guilty. Now you can miss your workout. You're running late for work now. And guess what the world's going to do? It's going to f*** you up. You must win the war in the morning. So then when you go into life that you cannot control, you've already mentally won so many battles early in the f***ing morning. So you're going into f***ing war having already won something. So you're not going to war defeated. You're going to war knowing, I did my push-up, I did my sits, I read, I meditated. Whatever the f*** you do, you're prepared for what the f*** life is going to bring you. Get to be that person who, no matter what's going on, still says, f*** it. I am going to do what I have to do to get to where the f*** I have to go. I don't think about getting up. I just f***ing get up. And you just do it. You make it a habit. You got to get over your mind going, I can't do this, it's too hard and all that. You got to push yourself through when you feel exhausted and say, there's a second win in me, I'm going to find it. But if you find yourself saying, I can't do something, I don't want to do something, but you know if you made yourself do it, you're going to be a better human being, then you must do it. Don't hesitate to do it immediately. Some people say, well, that's not a very safe life. That's not a very secure life. If you want security, go to prison. If you want freedom, this is how you live. Something watching its constant champion aren't found on other product. On other hand, you champion are found in lab studio. The thousand of hours of hard work we can end up watching. That we make you real, unstoppable. We are not one else and you are not pushing yourself harder. Than anybody with no around its you hook. Something if you name attract. It you want to do right the best to do you right and best ability for single time you destroyed it you constant you deterioralize your picture when you pick up and start and your job right now all of that same person and you are not right highs pdm one of excuse excuse is and that people don't do they and excuse making a faking plan is that easy part of have 
to understand that you excuse the plan if you don't have the morning and there are and there are not just cheating and you are not cheating your family cheating of employee you are not cheating of your term whatever you're part of bigger than your man nobody wants to eat that thing when you look at somebody and says means or an omen and there are i don't know have nobody that what you do they shouldn't have every day excuse and they are excuse especially when they don't feel like think they just happen they just think going to up and i am going to time and they are going to reach up and what happened people stuff and stop looking forgetting people else is a start end of you and look got more you became a uh, valuable you are not understand and what you paid it's do minimum and every single of that time going to stand out of all the same thing that everybody else is going to separate yourself playing against the trump you going to and going to stop doing and what you stop doing to they are going to champion thank you for watching like share and subscribe